welcome back to my channel. Um, today we are going to do the winter and Christmas coloring book haul series. So if you missed um, my fall haul, I love that one because it rhymes. <laughs> um, I basically showed you all the new fall books I bought in one, part one. Part two was all the fall and, you know, like Halloween themed books I already owned. And part three was pages you could use for fall in books you might already have that aren't specific to that season. Well, I'm doing that for winter and Christmas, um, only we're going to do it a little backwards because I'm hoping some of these books I ordered recently will show up before I need to film my other part. And if they don't, well, then they just won't be included. But we're going to start as part one, finding winter and Christmas themed pages in books that aren't specific for that. So these are like books that you can buy any time of the year. And we're going to find pages that are either specific to that or that we could turn into that. And this helps you save money on buying just Christmas and winter themed only books. Um, because let's face it, uh, while those books are cool, you really don't need a ton. I mean, because how much you're going to color in that time period and you might burn out. So these are like my all purpose books. So let's get going. OK, the first one is Seasons by Hannah Carlson. I think that's self-explanatory as to why I chose this one. <laughs> so all her winter stuff is in the back of this book. And they're all very specific to Christmas, winter. Um, like this would be really fun. It's just like, you know, blue and frosty. But see, like we got the candy canes, all that fun stuff. Presents. So yeah, these are the winter and Christmas ones. Um, this page I've actually done. There is a color along from, I think it's last Christmas where I did this one. Um, I actually covered up the pine needles with my Prismas and made my own. So yeah, this is, oops, skipped page. Yeah, there, I mean, look at this. We already have a pretty good stack of Christmas and winter themed pages in a single book. So if you have this one, and you're on a tight budget, you don't really need to go buy anything else. And that's the end, because this is a fall page right here. And the Fallen Stars is the winter. It's the start of the winter one. See, like snowflakes. So that's an, a good, easy, safe pick. Okay, then I have Bloom. Um, this is one of those random Create Space books <laughs> that I found on Amazon. It doesn't even say who the author is. I know I looked it up once, but... There is some holiday flowers. It's just we have to find them. Do, do, do. And they're not in order on here. So stay with me. I didn't go through and pre-mark everything. I didn't have the time. So on some of these, hey, you might get a flip through. <laughs> oh, come on. Where are you? Raspberries are more fall. Hibiscus. Is... This one, this oak, you could do for winter if you wanted. If you haven't already done it for fall, that's perfect. Um, the, I mean, the dogwood you could too as well, but I know they had. The coffee plant. I know they have like holly in here, so. But yeah, like I said, I didn't have time to... Um, Jasmine, hollyhocks you could do actually for winter. It's not the same as holly, by the way. Do different things. Uh, ginkgo flower would be really fun to do for winter with a wintry background. There you go. Holly is in this book as well. I mean, you can't get more Christmassy than that, Christmas or winter. The olive branch you could still do in the winter as well. Same thing with the sea grapes. That would be fun. It's just some examples. Okay, in Menuet de Bonheur, I just like to say that last word. <laughs> I always overemphasize. There are some Christmas pages. Um, let's find those. They're never here when you want them on demand. Let's just face it. There were some fall ones in here I didn't get to. I'm not going to lie, the paper in this book is really weird. If you have this book, you probably know what I mean. It's just, it's funky. It's some funky paper. Um, let's see. I feel like we're in... Oh, here we go. So they have a Christmas one right here. 
You know, they're all around the tree. And then there's like this Christmassy wreath going on. Now, I know not everyone celebrates Christmas, so I do keep that in mind. Um, this could totally be done for winter, though. You could even have snowflakes coming through there. You know, painting inside on a wintry day. But yeah, that's just an example um, of one in there. And other pages in that book you can turn into winter. Rhapsody in the Forest, same thing. There's Christmas pages or pages that are wintry themed um, that you can totally use for the season. So you don't have to buy a Christmas only page. Like, so this one with the deer, you could totally make into a winter themed page or Christmas if you celebrate Christmas. Um, that's more Easter-ish. Let's keep it going. I know they have some, I marked this one. Same thing with this, that weird paper. Uh, this one you could do actually for Christmas and winter. It works for fall as well, but this one as well, perfect fall scene with all the, fall, <laughs> winter scene with all the snow covered trees. The reindeer, the Christmas tree. This one actually has a lot very specific. Um, this wreath is very Christmassy to me um, and wintry because it has like the oranges and all that. Um, so you could totally do that as an example. Then we have the flower year. I mean, this one is perfect. So for December, let's get the whole month of December, you could just color every page in here. I mean, they're wintry. This is gorgeous. And then she has in the back, you know, she tells you what they are so you can look them up. And then January, and February because we'll do spring books come March so you have your for January nice wintry spreads these are flowers that you would find in the winter well depending on where you live out here everything's just dead <laughs> and then February as well so this is a perfect book if you want like something you can color every month because it literally goes through the month okay um, some examples from Fairy and Fantasy 3 by Christine Caron. Oh. oh my gosh, that one you can make wintry right there. Just think of the blues and the little star. Can't remember. Oh, I think that all the page previews are on the back. So we'll have to flip it this way. Now, a lot of these fairies, like you can just turn into something wintry. I mean, just Think about it. It's all about colors. I mean, you could color these in Christmas colors. She's got a bell. You know what I mean? Or you can do all blues and make it snowy. There's a few in here that just make me think more Christmassy and winter. Like this one, for some reason, I just picture because it's, it's a celestial one. So it looks so pretty with a ton of blues, light blues and whites. Yeah, let's see. Same with that one with the little star catcher. Gorgeous for winter. I mean, that's the thing. Any page can honestly be transformed into a winter or Christmas themed pages. It's all about how you color it, really. I mean, even if it has things that aren't super traditional to that, there's that one again. All right. And then in her fairy and fantasy, this is the first one. Same thing, like there's certain pages in here. This one I've actually seen colored in a wintry way and it was so gorgeous. This book is pretty elf heavy. That one you could do for winter, that would actually be perfect. You could even do that for winter or Christmas, that would be cute. I'm just giving you guys ideas. So if you have any of these books, you could. This one would be perfect for winter. I mean, it was made for it. <laughs> it's got reindeer and stuff. Let's see. If there's any others that I'm just like, ooh, this is perfect for Christmas with the cookie elves. I actually bought the PDF of this. It's funny. I still buy the PDF sometimes. Often because I forget they're in this book. <laughs> so that's part of the reason. Okay, Fairy and Fantasy 2. 
This does have better um, paper than your traditional like Create Space book. Perfect for winter. Look at that one. Absolutely perfect. Sorry about the jets. They heard I was recording. Wanted to come say hi, like they always do. You could even make that wintry. Yeah, I know it's got like some tulipy. I've seen this one done several times uh, in winter colors. Lots of blues and purples. I mean, there's just so many that you can transform into whatever season we're in. That one is perfect with the snow. That one she had come out with last winter. Yeah, I mean, it's just, it's always like that one you could color for winter. I mean, what else are you all cozy and comfy inside with a pile of books? <laughs> you know what I mean? So there's options. All right. The time chamber. I pulled these out because, oh, to be honest, I have had these books probably for longer than most and I haven't colored in them but a lot of these can be transformed into winter and Christmas theme pages like I could do this all in gold and make it a Christmas theme you know I mean that's the thing you just it doesn't have to have a Christmas tree on it it doesn't even have to have a snowflake I mean look at this one I could make this all page wintry so there's always going to be something in your book collection that can be transformed and the purpose of these videos is just to give you ideas you don't need to go buy these books i'm not even going to link to them below like this is my way of just sh like showing you how to use what you already own and participate in all those winter hashtags i could do that in all gold or silver i want to get creative i could put snow all over that cityscape you know I don't think I've ever colored in any of these. Oh my gosh. List of shame. Um, that one you can make a wintry if you wanted. There's just so many opportunities in books. I mean, that you could even color for this season. I mean, baking and cookies. All right, let's look at the night voyage. Where I had colored like this would be perfect for the holidays actually. Look at big old present. Even this one actually. This is actually like Christmas right here. Look, we got the winter scene, all the presents. I mean, perfect. There's just so many things that are hiding in our books that we could totally turn wintry. I mean, same with that one. She's going down the um, chimney with presents. That one has all the pine needles. That would be perfect for Christmas or winter. This one too, it's actually... Oh, this one has a lot of wintry pages, doesn't it? Or Christmas-themed kind of pages. Look, I'm surprising myself. I just grabbed books at random off my shelf. <laughs> uh, that was kind of part of it. This could totally be for the holidays. But yeah, I mean, I picked ones I knew, and then ones I was like, I'm going to find something. Um, same here, more gifts. Is this thing, like, meant to be Christmas? Because it's got a lot of packages. Ooh, this would be cute to do for Christmas or holidays. Same with that one. I mean, that, wow, that book's just full of them. All right, let me grab another stack. But yeah, I just grabbed at random. So this is... Um, Romantic Country, the first one. I lost the dust jacket. Oh. But there's actually Christmas pages in all her books. Christmas and winter. Um, I have one here. I started a long time ago and I never finished. <laughs> Example. Um, let's see. Oh, all my coloring in here is so old and outdated. I mean, like, there's actually a Christmas tree in this one. It says... Literally, Merry Christmas. I need to buy another copy of this. I'm struggling to find the first one. See, a lot of these got so messed up. Um, they rubbed. This was before I realized you had to use fixative with Prismas. 
The first one might not have as many like winter and Christmas themed stuff. Yeah, I really need to rebuy this one. If anyone knows where I can snag the first one, let me know. I've been hunting it down. Okay. Second tale. I have multiple copies of the second and third tale. <laughs> But both of these also have winter and Christmas pages. And one of them is extra heavy on it. I just can't remember which. Oops. I just need to. These are the Halloweenish ones. So let me get past those. Yeah, we want to get out of the witch's forest and get to the Christmassy ones. guys it might be the third tale that has the like is really heavy on winter and christmas but this could be done that way i mean all the crystals in blue would be gorgeous this tree or this one here in the forest could be done as a winter scene like if you have the second tale you could do this and add snow to the mountaintops and the trees and turn it in like you could make this look like a frozen lake and it, it doesn't require any extra extra artistic ability. You can use a Posca to add this snow, you know. Add white on top of your lake so it looks frozen rather than thawed. I think it must be the third one. I knew one of them was heavy on the holidays. And winter-ish things. I mean... These ones with the little elves just always remind me of the holidays. I don't know what I was doing when I started coloring that one. <laughs> I really don't. I have a lot of... Oops. This book has been flipped open a lot, so it's kind of... Um, easy to flip through. It's been flipped open a lot, so it's easy to flip through. That doesn't sound weird at all. I'm trying to find... The winter ones. I've seen some some people do this as like a winter sky. I've seen this one done in a wintry style because they're all dressed so warm and cozy. Um, here's the Christmas cookie page. Perfect for the holidays. This one as well with the snow-covered trees. Or this one. Let's see. I swear there's one where kids are putting... Here's more Christmas, um, like there's a Christmas one here and then these are other holidays, but this side has like more winter heavy stuff. But I know there's one where the kids are putting their letters to Santa in the mailbox and I must have flipped past it on one of the other books. This one's perfect because it's got the frozen ice rink and it's actually a double page spread. Oh no, it's right there, I colored it in this in this version. Um, this one's good too. It's got a ton of toy soldiers. This is back when I was first learning to color. Straight up, no shading. <laughs> um, even this one. This was like Marco Rafines, I think. Um, but yeah, this is a really old page when I was first learning to color. But this is a really cute one you can do. So, and then look at this. Chap I mean, this whole chapter one page is perfect. So there's tons in there. Um... All Clara Markova books have some holiday pages, so I only pulled two books, but keep in mind you'll always be able to find some holiday-themed pages. It's just what she's known for, like this one, the sledding here, and the candy. I mean, you'll just have, like, mounds and mounds. I mean, this is winter. This one's Christmas winter. Now I think we're getting into the Halloween stuff. Although some of these could be winter because they're just warm. Yeah, these are still winter. Like you got the gingerbread man on that one. I mean, her books are just full of them. And they're always like in sections. So that was Fairy Miracles. I know Magical Delights has some as well. Um, and then Fairy Celebrations definitely does. I didn't pull that one out because, like I said, all of her books have Christmas theme and winter theme pages in every book. So um, even her latest was, what, Fairy Touch of Magic, I think is what it's called. Um, this one I've seen done. 
and like Christmassy tones. Uh, same with that one, but also uh, that one. Oops. I'm trying to find the more specific ones for you guys. Where are you hiding? Might be towards. That one would be perfect in wintry things. But yeah, I mean, there's just tons. They're always hiding. Okay, one more pile. All right. Biggest pain is when I have to put all these back away. And I, like I said, this isn't all my books. Um, Gnomes in the Neighborhood. They do have Christmas and winter pages. Let me just find them. It's one of my favorite books because they're just so funny. <laughs> I don't know. The gnomes are just funny. And I know, like, we think of gnomes and we think of Christmas, but, like, here's perfect one. The snowman. Another winter scene. That could be for winter with all the blankets. The sledding one. More snowman. I mean, they've got quite a bit. Another winter one. This one is, like, their little Christmas village. It's really cute. I think that's it in the book. But, yeah, that gives you an idea. Um, the Snow Queen. Uh, this is... Let's see. It's based on the Hans Christian Andersen one, but who... Let's see. J. Un Lee. I haven't colored in this, and I've owned it forever. But all of these can be done for winter and Christmas. I mean... It's based on a, you know, Elsa Frozen. <laughs> um, but I mean, so tons of opportunity throughout this entire book to just do winterly like things, winter or Christmas. Now, this is the compilation book from Rita Berman. Don't ask me to say it, but that means her entire winter book is in here. So I think it's near the back, but yeah, right here. See, we got the tree. Who I think is Santa. Let's see a little winter village. So all this has her winter book. It's like compiles a bunch of them. So you got tons in here to do. So if you just bought this book, you would have all four seasons. See, it's got the spring, summer, fall, winter. Okay. The Big Fantasy Coloring Book by Molly Harrison. This is a compilation book, but it does have some winter-like fairies somewhere. A lot of these are the fall ones. Come on, winter fairies. That actually would be really cool for winter with snow. Could be like her little snow wolf. Tons of fall ones, so I'm trying to find the more. That would be gorgeous for winter, actually, with all the swirls and the stars. That one, too. It's too springy. Oh, that would be gorgeous for winter, with just blues and whites. Oh, my. That one would be as well. Yeah, there's just always options in books we own. And I'm even improving it by just grabbing randomly from my collection. That would be perfect for a winter or Christmas one. Randomly, I'm pulled books from my collection without even pre-picking pages. Just to show you, like, you can quickly flip through a book and go, Oh yeah, I can make that winter. You know what I mean? It doesn't have to be Christmas. <laughs> Whimsical World. Um, this is another Molly Harrison one. I know there are some Christmassy little ones in here. Just gotta find them. They're kind of sporadic. Same with the fall ones. But I know one of her like winter books is in here. I mean, any of the ones where they're in the stars and stuff can be done all winter or Christmassy. I know she's got some specific ones as well. Might take a year to find them. Oh, here we go. That one, perfect for winter. Like I said, they're very sporadic in here. They're not organized by categories. You're just like, do do do, another winter. Yep, monstrosity I did trying to use watercolor on create space paper. Don't recommend it. 
yeah, I know there's like winter ones in here. There's ones where they're wearing beanies, angels, all that good stuff. So, I mean, if you already have this compilation book, you can turn any of these Christmassy or wintry, and some are already specific to that season. But see how sporadic they are? I mean, we got a spring and a fall and Halloween just like all mixed in there. So that one, perfect for winter and Christmas. Little angel. All right, Enchanted Faces. There's going to be ones that are perfect for Christmas in here and ones that you can just color as Christmas, you know? Like this could be a winter one. Could even do that one wintry. This one for sure, because it's got poinsettias. So yeah, there's tons. You could just pick at random and give it Christmas colors. So always options. Speaking of, the princesses from um, Hannah Lynn. You're definitely going to have options for creating some winter pages. Whether they're princesses or not, you know. I mean, that could be even done all wintry. Now, these are princesses from our favorite storybooks, so you may not want to change the colors as much. But, like, this one would be perfect for holidays and winter-themed colors. So, yeah, I mean, you've got options. Victorian Darlings from Hannah Lynn. Any of these can be colored to be more wintry. You know, I mean, you could... No, nope, not that one, because that's got pumpkins. But you can make... See, there's icicles in the background of this one. Or you can make snow. Or like this one, it is snowing. So see what I mean? Like, you could buy Victorian Darlings, which has tons of pages in it, and find ones that work for the season. Yes, there's going to be quite a few of these <laughs> from Hannah Lynn. Uh, Whimsy Girls at Work. Oh, her Whimsy Girl holiday one as well. I didn't pull it out, but that one's pretty obvious, I guess. There's holiday ones in there. Um, you could do this one and put just some snow on the trees out there. You can even do it for this one. Put snow on the trees, and now she's a mountaineer in the snow. Like, so many ways to transform a page. You could make some mythical maidens from Hannah Lynn all winterish, too. Let's find one that would be fun to turn into. Ooh, she's like standing in a pot of gold. <laughs> Let's find one that would be really fun. I've seen this one done in all white. It was, I don't know how they did it either, but it was amazing. It was just like glowing. I mean, this one you could definitely do. Just turn her into a little angel. Any of these. Some of these are more Halloween, but it's all about how you color them. Let's see. Okay. Um, Fantasy Realm by Jana Prosperina. Let's see if we can find some wintry looking fairies hanging out in here. Now she has like her autumn ones. Oh, actually this would be perfect. To turn wintry, you could color these like holly berries and leaves. That one could even be done all winter like. I mean, you could literally color a page, add little piles of snow, and then flick some white paint on it, and ta da! It's Christmas. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, there's just so many ways to take your pages. So I recently purchased Apple's, um, oh my gosh, can't even think of the word, Flower Girl, <laughs> that book. And there are winter pages in here. So I'm just trying to see like this one with a snowman in the fridge. So like this is a book you could totally use year round. I mean, even that one is perfect for the holidays. It's called A Child Called Winter. Of course, I want to color these just like the artist did. See if I can show you some more super winter or Christmas themed ones in here. This one right here is perfect. That's gorgeous too. But yeah, they're kind of scattered, so that one actually would be kind of fun as well. Let's 
I mean, her dog always has rain, reindeer ears, so <laughs> it makes it hard. I'm seeing if there's any, oh, that one would be fun with little ornaments, or this one is decked out, like, totally. It'll be a happy Christmas is what it's called. This one with the gift in the woods. More winter ones. Winter morning is what this one is called. Autumn beret, so we're back to fall. Okay, let's, and then I have another one by Apple. Let's see if we can find the some wintry ones in here. These are just so pretty. This one doesn't have as many explanations as the other one. I think this is book two or book one. I can't remember. You could do this holiday baking one totally for the holidays. Then I know there's some winter ones in here. Here's another one. It's called Winter Story Number Four. Uh, Christmas Party. A day spent at home. So you could do all that like glow from a cold wintry day. Could even do this rainy day one. Not all of us have snow in the winter. This one would be good. Sharing equally. I mean, it has Christmas type colors, but I don't think it's meant to be Christmassy. <laughs> don't think that was their goal. Not the end game on that one. Let's see if there's any more in this book that are super. Yeah, most of those are fall and spring. But I just want to make sure. Oh man, my poor thumb is hurting from flipping all these pages. So yeah, and we've gone through, gosh, I don't even know how many books. Um, and this is just an example. So I challenge you to just grab a book off your bookshelf and see if you can find a page that is either already winter themed um, or Christmas themed, kind of hidden within the pages like these ones here where they have them already or something you could just transform, whatever you want to do. So in part um, two, I will show you the Christmas books that I already own. These are Christmas and winter specific books I already own. Like literally the title says Christmas or winter, um, whereas they're not like all purpose books like these. And then in part three, I will do my winter haul showing you all the new books I bought for Christmas and winter for this year. Um, bought a lot more than I wanted to because I, I get burned out on coloring red and green <laughs> real quick, but there were some really cute ones this year. So I will see you guys in part two, but I hope you guys have gotten enough ideas. Hopefully you own some of these books. I tried to pull like a huge variety. Um, that way, uh, you know, maybe you would have one or two. And, you know, again, just pull something from your shelf and see what you can create. Until next time, guys, take care. Bye.